Hi, this is lecture four on voice leading basics. What I'd like to talk about today is types of root movement and how this is going to set us up for actually doing voice leading, what the procedures will be for different types of root movement. What, is the, what does root movement mean? Whenever you're moving from one chord to another, what's going to be important what the distance is between the two roots of the chords. Let me show you what I mean. If I'm in the key of C, that is my one chord, C, E, and G. If I move to, say, my four chord, which is F, A, and C, how do I get there? I go there by the root moving either up a fourth, one, two, three, four, to F, or down a fifth, one, two, three, four, five, also to F. And there's the four chord. Notice that the reason I drew it that way was so that you could see this connection that they have. The C, that's the root of the one chord, is also the fifth of the four chord. So these two chords, which are a fourth or a fifth apart, have one note in common, or we're going to call it a common tone. We call this relationship between two chords a fourth slash fifth connection, because they are either a fourth or a fifth, depending which direction you go. And you can see that going a fourth one way and a fifth the other way gets you to the same place, so a fourth and a fifth are um, similar like that. Let's say the next chord is going to be a five chord. So you can see that uh, going from the four chord to the five chord, my root moved a second from F to G. So I have an F, A, C chord, and now I have a G, B, D chord. There are no common tones there. We call this category root movement of a second. We could also, like with fourth, fifth, say second slash seventh, but since the bass doesn't usually move by seventh, it's easier just to say a second. It happens every now and then, but we can pretty much get away with just saying it's a second. What comes after a five chord? Well, usually a one chord. And here you can see that that's another fourth, another fourth slash fifth. And in fact, it's maybe not as easy to see, but you have GBD and you have CEG, so there's a common tone the G, which is here and which is here. So this is fourth, fifth. And then uh, the last kind of root movement is root movement by third. So I'm going to go from that one chord to a six chord. Which means that we move down a third. The root moves down a third. And notice what happens. From C, E, G to A, C, E, you have two common tones. So if you look at root movement from uh, by fourth or fifth, you will have one common tone. Root movement by second gives you zero common tones. I'm using CT for common tone. And root movement by third gives you two common tones. What does that mean for our voice leading? I'm going to show you how the standard connections for those work in the next lecture. And then I'll have a final lecture 
which is about all the things you're supposed to avoid.